of Wrestling With Attitude from Charlotte, North Carolina, the best wrestling podcast out there today. With your host, the intellectual savior of the masses, The Summit. If we have any six foot five women yeah. that are interested, Steven Single, our D generation sex, Bo generation. And the mouth of the Carolinas, little Steven. Don't be talking to the 18-day champion like that. Bo, conversationalist person. Bo, hey. horrible. The former six-month champ, the melting pot, JP. Just go back and do that, RVD. Go back to Philadelphia. I'm sure there's a bingo hall. You could sweep the floors, you know, give the old ladies another marker. Little Steven, little Steven. And this man makes wrestling attitude live to his standards. Dirty Dutch. I mean, I liked watching Justin Gabriel until he got whooped by Goldberg. You ruined my core. Yeah. You can listen to us on Stitcher, iTunes, and Spreaker. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and tweet us at WWA Show. Wrestling with attitude. All right, welcome, welcome to Wrestling with Attitude on Stitcher, Spreaker, and iTunes. What? No, just, you know. Yeah, well, thank you for your <laughs> approval. Uh, of course, you know, I'm the summit. Then to my to my left is Dirty Dutch. Dirty Dutch. Oh. Yeah, and then, what, because you're going to last? Yeah. You don't like that, do you? No, I don't like that. Oh, crap. <laughs> uh, then that person that's... You know, keeps running his mouth. His little Stephen, the I, mouth of the Carolinas. You know, I'm not a licensed psychiatrist, but I am kind of. Um, I'm ten. I'm feeling some tension right now here. You know, you should a little bit of tension. <laughs> you should. Absolutely. Man. He's not licensed, Ooh. but kind of. Oh, it's I kind know. Of How are you kind of like? That's kind of like the first time you had. Because I went to school. <laughs> you I kind just, of had <laughs> sex, but you're not sure. Yeah. Does it, does it count if I do this? Okay. Yeah, 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 it does. It does. <laughs> Trust me, I looked it up in the book. <laughs> Not a cool it does it. books. No, it does. It does count. <laughs> that doesn't go there, Steven. <laughs> Somebody needs to learn from the Godfather. Oh, I know what it is. I Pimping know is a job, Dan. <laughs> no, it's it was not. a poll. It was a job. You cannot pay taxes on <laughs> Pimping, okay? You can't pay taxes. It's an illegal job. At you that. cannot job. give your you can't hey. give your hose freaking. Uh, you can't give them any Obamacare, or you can't <laughs> give them any. Um, Why would you give them Obamacare? They, they well, can get Obamacare anyway. But you if they get hurt on the, if, they get, if they get hurt on the job, how do you pay for their? Uh, you know, how do they get a? Uh, you know what? They get paid enough money. No, they don't. <laughs> Dude. That's on a good night. They get paid enough money. Hey, okay. do you not see the way they dress? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Enough said. Jerry saw the way they All got right. dressed. <laughs> anyway, puppies. Just relax. <laughs> <It's> just <laughs> All right. So, uh, welcome to the show this week. We got a good show for you. Uh, of course, it's got to be better than Fastlane was. So, <laughs> uh, this weekend's Fastlane pay per view was Sunday. Uh, Raw this week. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about Fastlane. Uh, I'm trying to think. NXT, we'll talk about a little bit. Maybe some TNA. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you always have to say, oh, baby. Well, maybe. Samoa Joe is no longer there. We'll talk about that. All right. Uh, but before we go any farther, let's talk about the Hall of Fame. Because that's a big issue of me right now. Cue it up. Just I, cue I, it No, up. I won't cue it. <laughs> uh, in case you don't know or live on this rock, uh, like Rikishi me. was inducted into, is being inducted into the Hall of Fame this year. Uh, beside, you know, with uh, 
Randy Macho Man Savage is also being inducted. And then we got a third. We had another group, a tag team inducted this week beside Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, the Bushwhackers. Man. I have a problem with that. I have a problem with all three besides Macho Man. I don't, no, I don't have a problem with Arnold being celebrity swing. Uh, wing. Excuse me. He might be a swinger too, I don't know. <laughs> There's your great music because I know you oh love Oh, my that. gosh. I love it. <laughs> so, all right. My first problem, dude, Rikishi in the Hall of Fame? Are you serious? I always thought of him as a joke. I never was really into we him. We all did. Yeah, he, I just – finisher for one, the stink face. I'm, I mean, excuse me, the fire thunder driver. I did like that. That was cool. But besides the, that – The mush, the mushka word driver, they called it. The mushka. Yeah, Wasn't yeah. it just like the bonsai drop? No, no, not, Bonsai tries. No, we're though. not talking about it. He talk. He, we're talking about the, the move. He like, uh, just like uh, Big Country does. Oh, he did yeah. that. He did that. Yeah. I never saw him. Wow, yeah, that was his finisher. Yeah. Okay, never. I don't remember seeing that that much. Yeah, yeah. You, but he did do that. Right. Well, anyways, you know, Rikishi. Ugh. I just don't agree with it. Rikishi. I mean, what, okay. I mean, I get why you have a problem with the James. I get it because it's Rikishi, and what has he done? Has he held a belt once? I mean, I think he was a world title, world champ once, right? No, no, he was no. never a world no. champ. He WWE was my problem. champion. He was an intercontinental. He was intercontinental. Wait, was he not WWE champion? No, he was in the title match at Armageddon with The Rock, Kurt Angle, and all them guys. But he was never a WWE. You're champion. You're talking about the Hell in a Cell match, Armageddon. Yeah, yes. yeah Hell yeah. in a Cell. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But that was at Armageddon truck. where he was thrown off the cage by the Undertaker. Yeah. He was never a WWE world champion. He was a intercontinental. He was a tag team title champion, but he never uh, anything else. I could have swore he held that title. No. No. Hmm. Because think about you. Would you really give him the WWE title during that time? Absolutely Heck, not. No. I liked him more as a Sultan. Than- so you think he's <laughs> going in just because of his heritage? Oh no, he's going in. Absolutely, of absolutely. Of course. Yeah, well, that doesn't make sense that he would make in make it in there. S- to me, I well, feel no, like we well, think about the Usos, how popular they are as a tag team right yeah. now. It makes perfect sense. Yeah, he's, he's going in there because of his sons. It, it makes perfect sense. He's yeah. going in there because of his sons, because they work with the. It's just like uh, people said about the whole thing with uh, Cologne. The only reason yeah. he went in is because of his sons. I don't know about that. I still feel that's a little bit better than Rikishi going in because it did bring heritage or it brought wrestling from Puerto Rico to the United States. It like to, you know, WWE. I will tell you. That's a little bit you know, I mean his crit- well he started out as the Samoa SWAT team. Samoa SWAT team should be in the Hall of Fame before Rikishi goes in by himself. <laughs> was that with his brother? Uh then you had the head shrinkers where he was part of the head shrinkers. Yeah, the head shrinkers. Same thing. Remember them. You know, uh, but then he went solo, and you know he really didn't do a lot. He was the Sultan, and then he, he was... might be. I mean, if we're talking besides our next people that we're going to be talking about, our next group that got into the Hall of Fame, he was only a tag team champion. He was three time an intercontinental no, champion. He no, 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 no. He won the world, the WWE Tag Team Championship twice. Yeah, and the okay. WWE he won it. Go ahead. Yeah, WWE tag teams were one time world tag were twice and Intercontinental Champion once, and that's and then the Intercontinental Championship. I mean, that's his only credentials that he has. Okay. Okay. Uh, so yes, that was uh, he had different titles, but you know he doesn't. Come on, dude! If you don't put him in the Hall of Fame. Christian better be a first, first ballot Hall of Famer. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, but, he, yeah, like I was trying to say, three-time champion, one time with Scotty Too Hotty, one with Samu, and one with Rico. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah Rico. he was with Rico. Yeah. Forget so, about that. Uh, oh, and he only won the Intercontinental title once. It's not like he won it two or three times. Oh, I yeah. just, I don't, this is the most ridiculous thing ever. Rikishi in the damn Hall of Fame. You got guys out here that have not been in the Hall of Fame yet. Larry Sabisco should be in the Hall of Fame. Mm-hmm. Larry Sabisco's uh, not in there? No. no. You got guys in WWE. 
uh, WCW, NWA, the Rock and Roll Express, not in the Hall of Fame yet. Mm-hmm. You got all these other guys, and you put him in the Hall of Fame. Even Doink the Clown's not even in there yet, is he? <laughs> No, no. I, I, I'm sorry. I would take Doink the Clown over Rikishi or the Bushwhackers any day. Yeah, would you not? At least Doink the Cl- Clown at least did something for this business. He did. I mean, he did a little bit more. I mean, uh, I, I don't even know if he he was never a champion, but I mean, no, he was more popular. If you're going to talk about popularity, I think the Bush. I mean, Bushwhackers, Rikishi, or Doink the Clown. Doink the Clown was more popular than. Doink Any the of those. Clown was loved by the fans. They loved him. Who? Doink the Clown. Oh, yeah, he was. Well, I'm, I'm just saying, though. You, you say, like, you know, because of pop- popular, you know, because Bushwhackers were popular, that might be the reason they're in there. Well, Doink the Clown was way popular than they, they were. <clears throat> no. I, mean, I, I don't know. I just, I, I don't, I don't agree with it. But, I yeah. mean, what do you think, James? No, he, he shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame. I, I mean, there's... There's other people that are ahead of them. Yeah. Uh, There's people that are well more deserving than... Now, Honky Tonk's finally in, right? No. What? Honky Tonk's not in the Hall of Fame. You mean Honky Tonk's not even... That's what I'm saying. There's (laughs) other guys that are... Ravishing Rick Rude. Well, yeah. But we got freaking Rikishi in the Hall of Fame. I don't understand the Honky Tonk I think the reason that... Another reason that he's in there, too, is because he was in that Attitude Era. I mean, they're going to treat that like it's the golden year, so... See, that shouldn't well, matter. Because that's who... Yeah. So, okay, you know are you... I play on it. So you're going to put Prince Albert in there. You're so going to put, put the big show. No, you don't put Too Cool in the Hall of Fame? Of course. No. I wouldn't doubt it. They probably you, will. There's no way you should put... that. Come on. I know you're saying it's add to her. Grand but Master. you don't add these... I know who he is. Yeah. I know it's his son. Uh-huh. But Absolutely. that shouldn't have anything to do with it. And I agree. The problem is, like the Bushwhackers, they work... Ford, somewhere in that company works for WWE now. Yeah. That's the problem. And it's easier to put those guys in. And it's ridiculous, though. I mean, I it's agree. stupid. Didn't one of them die, though? Like, no, I, I think they're both alive. Are, are they both check. alive? Because I thought one of them actually died. Because they're from New Zealand. I do know that. That's actually truth. Now, are y'all good for us to move on from Rikishi? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I the feel the like other, you need to. <laughs> the other one to get inducted is the Bushwhackers. Yeah. Okay. And I'm looking right now. They have zero, and I said zero, world WWF tag team titles. So they didn't even they win it They never didn't win it. What? Yep. Wow. Unless you can find something that's different, Dutch. No. There's nothing. No, no, from, like I said, from what I understood, nothing. they were never anything in the WWE. That's why I was they, so dumbfounded that they are in it. Yeah. They, they, as a matter of fact, Wrestling Observer Newsletter Awards, 1992 and 94, named them the worst tag team. <laughs> and you'll put them in the damn Hall of Fame. Because, yeah, because they were the worst tag team. That's why. It had to be the walk. <laughs> the 1993, the worst work match of the year. Wow. wow. Man on a Mission versus the Head Shrinkers versus Bastion Booger and Bam Bam Bigelow. So, I, mean, I don't know how that did it. So, but, yeah, I don't, I don't understand. Who do you think's fault this is? Do you think this is WWE or the universe? Who do the, you think? It's universe, dude. I don't think the universe even knows who the Bushwhackers are. I don't think half those the people young, don't even know who the Bushwhackers are. They don't. You have to think about this, too, though. The gaming era that we have now is so big that they probably know them because of the wrestling game. So they probably didn't sit there and go, oh, I've watched their matches. No, they used them in the game, and they were good in the game. I mean, how many people do you have in a video game that's actually fantastic? Like, you could use that's, Santino and run true. through John Cena. But right. if you actually put... Santino in a match with John Cena, it would be a two move match and it'd be done. Yeah, that, that actually does. So make it's sense. probably it's probably the video game era that got them their that that polished look. Now, still, uh, now I will say this. Okay, <clears throat> they probably are putting them in just like because Carlito Colon and different people had an impact on wrestling mm-hmm. because they are they were tag team champions around the world. At different places that no one cares about. Really? Uh, they, you know, they were never WCW champions or anything like that. But they were, uh, you know, worldwide wrestling alliance champions or United States.